not all of them, but a lot of them is going in there and they not having guns, they not having their friends with them. They doing a whole lot of windmill action. A whole lot of this. It's a whole lot of this going on in day rooms. All right, cause I'm the C74. Yellow flip blocking in the house in my road. Gotta make a put it on. She don't like when clothes just left Concord. No Carolina. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booty with some ice cream. She'll remember you. Ice cube make a chip. She ever like the winner, dude. Do, sitting with the crew. I bet get some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. What's good? Snade Almighty, aka the Global Dusk and the Ambassador, yo. Before I even start this off, man, I just want to say shout out to the returning subscribers. If you watching this for the first time, you into some real shit, man. You are watching the Nate Almighty Music and Entertainment Channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Top five best storytellers on YouTube, man. So before we even get into it, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button, man. And hit that like button. But listen. Everybody gets beat the up at some point on Rikers Island and when I say everybody I mean everybody you know what I'm saying neutrals got it the most depending on who you was which is why a lot of neutral dudes end up turning blood or if they Spanish they end up turning Latin King or Patia right but if you like me you thug it out you thug it out, you know what I mean? Um, but everybody gets beat up at some point. You feel me? Like, um, if you didn't get beat up, you wasn't a threat. So if anybody you know telling you that they spent a significant amount of time in Rikers Island of all places, and, and they never got hurt at all, wasn't a threat. Wasn't a threat at all. He was extremely submissive. Extremely beta on Rikers Island, man. These are facts. These are facts, you know what I'm saying? The people who get hurt the least are the day room dummies. And the day room dummies even got a deal with getting slapped up from time to time. They may not get beat beat up because there's no requirement to beat them up because they're completely submissive. But they even get slapped up from time to time. So if somebody tell you they spend a significant amount of time on Rikers Island... And they made it past intake, especially at a lesson. You know what I'm saying? At lessons, it's thirstier. It's thirstier to be violent. Um, thirstier to extort people, right? So especially at a lesson C74, they say they they say they ain't get hurt at all. You're talking to somebody that's very much a pussy. Very much, very much. You know what I mean? You ain't get hurt at all. They lying. You know what I'm saying? They was sitting on they was sitting back there on that iron horse. Getting humiliated, B. You know what I mean? Probably getting pissed on on them while they were sleeping and all that. You feel me? But everybody gets beat up. Bloods get beat up. Cribs get beat up. Latin Kings got beat up at some point. Patias got beat up at some point. You feel me? Everybody gets washed. That's kind of like the one thing that's a guarantee is violence. Violence is a guarantee. And a lot of this violence, sometimes people get more hurt than it was intended for them to get. You feel me? You know, mistakes happen, people die, you know? Like what they did to the kid Ice in 2008. Or... You could be fighting in the shower and you could slip on the floor. I mean, you could slip on some soap. You fall, crack your head open. You dead or you got a head concussion or something, man. But everybody got beat up. Everybody got beat up. Even the police got beat up from time to time. Now, they taking the least losses out of everybody. But, you know, a lot of times... Some of these police get too big for their britches, you know? You know, I got a story about how the Staten Island dude beat the CO up one-on-one -on -one with the hands. That really happened. That really happened. Like, he he tapped the CO chin. <laughs> he really did. 
You know, that's why they're quicker to jump people. Because they don't want to get embarrassed by one of these 16 to 18 year old dudes that got hands. Size don't matter much when you got hands. Size don't matter much, you feel me? Shit get real. Shit get real, man. And I'm telling you, somebody who was neutral in there, right? Somebody who was like a pot y'all plate for like six months. It gets real. And if you don't get jumped, you wasn't a threat. You were soft. You were soft. You was quiet. You was with the program. Period. Period, period, period. You know what I'm saying? Try to tell you, yo. If you being a man about your business, you gonna get harmed at some point, man. You gonna get smoked at some point. No matter who you is, man. Even if, even if you run in the crib, right? Even if you run in the crib and your man's got the other half and y'all got a little team, two to five people, right? Y'all could be so oppressive to all the day room dummies. One day, right? A couple day room dummies is going to realize that they outnumber all the tough dudes in the house. In a house full of 30 people, if it's only seven people that run everything, right? Do the math. It's 23 other people in the house. So a couple of them will get to talking. And they'll realize one day that they can revolute. See, I'm going to drop a good revolution story soon. A good revolution story soon, you know. But they'll realize that they outnumber the dudes. And it don't matter if the seven dudes in the house got the best hands. They simply don't got the numbers to compete with 23 other people. And if they get brave enough, if they care enough for their dignity, you know what I mean? They'll pick a time and rise up and they'll spank every tough dude in that house. And the regime will change, man. So nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. And even if you're not getting jumped, you know what I'm saying? If you're just known for having hands, there's always somebody who's going to want to challenge that. That's just how men are. Period. You feel me? That's just how men are, you know? A man going to want to test his might. You feel me? Another, another human nature reference to anime and Dragon Ball Z. Men on average, men on average, you know what I'm saying? Especially on Rikers Island, are like the Saiyans. Whereas, quite a lot of them love to fight. You also have your others that are designated to do other things because they're not fighters. Like, you know, like, like on planet Vegeta, they'll have the other dudes that just fly ships or, or you know, they, um, they work on electronics and things like that because they're not fighters and they got low power levels. Those are the day room. Those are the day room niggas. They off in the back somewhere being told what to do, getting slapped up either for no reason or when they do something stupid that they had no business doing. You feel me? But Rikers Island C-74 lesson is very much like Planet Vegeta. <laughs> for real, for real. You know what I mean? It's just how it is, you know? That's human nature. But everybody takes their licks. Now, it's up to you. Are you just going to take them without giving them? Or are you going to take them and give them? Everybody going to take some type of loss. Rikers Island is an extremely violent place, you know? You know, especially for a lot of the young dudes now. All these young dudes, they can't fight. A lot of them, they can't fight. They much rather shoot. That era was starting up when I was starting to go to jail. You know what I mean? My era is probably the last era of the the kids who are not afraid to fight. And they'll punch you in your face as well as shooting you, stab you, and cutting you. 
You know what I mean? It ain't a lot of that in the younger generation now. It ain't a lot of that. So I imagine, I imagine not all of them, but a lot of them is going in there and they not having guns. They not having their friends with them. They doing a whole lot of windmill action. A whole lot of this. It's a whole lot of this going on in day rooms of Rikers Island C-74. I bet you. I bet you. It's a whole lot of windmills. Whole lot of this shit. Not a whole lot of this. Not a whole lot of this. You know what I mean? Telling you. Like, share, come subscribe. Peace.